Hello all, and welcome to this afternoon's non-alcoholic beer review. It is the 14th of January. I haven't recorded anything in well over two weeks. I haven't uploaded anything for even longer. And there's a reason for that. I said I was going to upload in January. I haven't because my computer's memory died, my RAM stick, but unfortunately I tried reinstalling Windows instead of just taking it to the tech. I always try to fix things myself, and in this case, as is, you know, 50% of the time, I make it worse. Try to reinstall Windows, crashes during the reinstall, hard drive needs to get reformatted and everything. Pay nearly $100 to go and get, like, the old files. So there it is. So, like, those 10 episodes in the can, um, I still have yet to upload them. They're still there and everything. <laughs> Crossed an arm and a leg. My car is also having problems too. It's costing an arm and a leg. And um, yeah, it was dry January. This is, usually dry January isn't that difficult for me, but this has been a very stressful January. So yeah, it's been difficult to stay dry. But staying dry nonetheless, halfway through, and we have non-alcoholic beer to review tonight. And this is Buckler. This is made by Heineken, so from Holland, though I'm pretty sure it's contract brewed somewhere else other than Holland. Let's see here. Yeah, Heineken USA. And um, good by Best Buy June 2022. So so good is you can think could be. There wasn't much choice at Tamura's because, you know, dry January, that's the one time non-alcoholic beers sell. So, uh, yeah. I'm just realizing I don't know where my, <laughs> where my opener is. It's disappeared. Probably from when I Took my computer out. Uh. Oh, Lord Almighty. Give me a second. I am so professional, aren't I? Huh, not there. Okay, I have no idea where it went. Where my bottle opener went not there. I, I went and did a deep clean of my desk and everything when I took the computer off. And um, yeah, I, I guess I removed the uh, opener. I have another opener, but it's not one that I can take to here. It's like one that's attached to my refrigerator. So I'm going to have to go over there to use it. Um, yeah, so it's just been a real, a real fluster clunk. as you can imagine. So 0.5 ABV, you know, because most non-alcoholic beers are not truly, purely non-alcoholic. They have some residual alcohol. And this is, of course, you know, a rendition of a lager, I suppose. Giving it a fairly vigorous pour because I found like the head, it's pretty poor head retention on this. Pouring into blue moon glass because why not? Clear, very clear straw yellow with a fizzy white head that smells slightly of skunk. Skunk, so it smells slightly skunked. Cereal malts, sweet cereal malts, biscuity. With just a ghost of some floral hops. Watery, not much carbonation bite.
There's some very mild hot bitterness in the mids. Mostly gone by the finish, which is kind of a cloying, sweet graininess. There's some touch of hot bitterness up front, but mostly malt sweetness. All in all, fairly insipid. Um, I would have enjoyed more hopping. Kind of balance out the sweetness of the malts. And geez, all of a sudden it just decided to go and get really dark. I don't know why. <laughs> so sorry for sitting in kind of like the gloom here. Slight skunkiness is under the graininess um, in the mid to finish. Not overly offensive to the palate. All in all, not much there there. Um, you know, kind of expect all non-alcoholic beers to be a bit on the watery side. This one really, really is very watery. Could have used a boot, a little bit more carbonation, a little bit more hopping. A little bit more everything, really. Even though the malts are sweet and cloying, I mean, they're not really there much there either um it's just what is there is not balanced by the hops at all so what you're left with this is kind of um a somewhat flat beer flavored soda water Again, you know, uh, when I did the last Dry January reviews, I was kind of looking for things, non-alcoholic beers, that were a bit more highly rated, which is why I ended up with the Erdinger. Excuse me. And I'm thinking for next year, I'm probably going to go and order something from, you know, the Athletic Brewing box set, because they're craft non-alcoholic beer company that basically focuses on craft non-alcoholic beer. So I'm kind of curious about that. They're not distributed here in Hawaii, but being that they're non-alcoholic beers, they ship much easier than um, trying to get an alcoholic beer to be shipped to you. So maybe next year, if money, money lets me, I will go and have that as a uh, as what I will be sampling for dry January. Buckler non-alcoholic beer. I mean, it's not offensive at least, but it's not really... There's nothing there, man. It's insipid. Like I said the first time I sipped it, this is like insipid. Well, folks, that's your non-alcoholic beer review for tonight. Uh, I am looking forward to February with all my might. <laughs> because um, with the way the world's going, with the way my life's going, alcohol helps soothe the pain. That is your non-alcoholic beer review for this dry January, folks. Cheers.